Alex Pettit here, bringing you the latest from IBC 2023. I have made my way onto the Softron booth, which is a really interesting software company specializing in broadcast recording, playback, and replay, amongst other things. I'm joined by David from Softron. There's so many products. Where do we start? It's got to be Movie Recorder. Okay. So thank you for joining us. But yeah, Movie Recorder, it's actually where I first started. I was a customer, saw this, and I love this solution. Really, it's about ease of use. And I was, I was really amazed that I could give this to people who didn't work in broadcast, and I could say, here, here's a giant red button that records it. Now, they, did, they didn't realize that behind the scenes, a lot of workflows were happening. It was automatically naming the file, it was making two records for a backup, and it was setting it up just as you want it as an engineer, but the user, just all, he, all they had to do was hit record. So that was really important for our workflows in broadcast. And this runs on a Mac? Yes. So it's not like you need expensive hardware to get going with exactly. Movie Recorder. It runs on Mac Minis exactly. and things like that. Yeah, so even the Mac Mini, the M2 Pro, can do six channels of 4K 60. Wow. And we could do 18 channels of HD. So it's, it's really a really powerful little device. But when we start talking about the bigger models, the Mac Studio, the MacBooks, of course, but then the Mac Pro, which we're on now, where we're showing that this is really capturing 24 channels of 4K wow. 60. And that's only 60% of the usage. And, and 300 watts to do that, which is really low. So that is perfect for your sports venue, you're doing a musical or a concert, and you could be capturing that in a truck. It's not loud, and it's all captured in one spot. So that's really where the Mac Pro comes in handy. But you can do this on a Mac Mini or a MacBook. The whole lineup works really well right now for Apple and for us. <laughs> and so a couple of questions from me on this in terms of are they time code synced? What sort of codecs oh, do you support? Yep. Things like that. It's ProRes, DNX, uh, DNxHR, XDCAM, MXF. I mean, HEVC, H.264. Oh, loads of Yeah, and, and, and of course, there's edit while ingest. That's, that's why people came to us. So we can be capturing these files and immediately in your editor, you're seeing that file grow. So you can, you know, you can start working right away. And that's so important to people. And, and that, of course, the time code, like you said. So all those features, there's so much wrapped up in here, including closed captioning. And wow. so we really scale well for groups who say, I need to record this and I want to record it these ways, or I want to do something as far as broadcast 24 seven. Uh, and what kind of media can you actually record onto? It can be on the device itself. You can do a flash drive, like a you know SSD, or to a network storage too. So really, we're kind of agnostic to that. If the Mac can connect to it, it's fast enough, we're fine. So in theory, you could have a couple of camera feeds feeding into Movie Recorder and recording directly onto a NAS, if, as long as you've got the bandwidth Absolutely. and things like that. Absolutely. Wow, that's really impressive. Um, so that's Movie Recorder. Anything else that we've missed on there before you show me another thing that's going to blow <laughs> my mind? So, OK, I can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of this for a moment. OK. And I'm going to show you, uh, let's, let's show replay. So. And on the Mac Pro, where we have all that bandwidth, where we can do eight channels of 4K 60 in and out for replay. So that, which is really simple because we try to make the replay really easy. And, and we'll have a link in the video as yep. well to show M replay. But with this, you know, you can quickly go back to a moment. You can control, you know, what's live. Let's see. So I can say, let's show that moment again. So we really made this control that anyone could do replay. Yep. That was the idea. You know, there's other solutions out there that say, you know, here's a specialized operator, they're going to do it this way. But this is for everyone else. This is something that makes sense to maybe people that haven't seen it before. Exactly. They can be trained quite quickly on exactly. it and be doing replays the same day yep. rather than taking weeks, maybe months of courses exactly. to learn how to do it. Exactly, we have many people who do it that way. So a lot of production companies who say, hey, we know you're a smaller group and who don't have the budget for EVS. Mm -hmm. He goes, we can offer you replay and I'm going to train someone that day on how to do replay. That's what M replay can do for you. And is there, I think you mentioned eight feeds there, but can it scale higher, lower? Oh yeah, can... yeah, so what's great about the license is it, that just says how many channels you can do. Whether you, if you buy the six pack, or, or excuse me, the four pack or the eight pack that we now have, you can say like, all right, three channels in, one channel out, or you can say however you want it to be. Oh, so, so it's configurable in that sense. Exactly. So with the eight pack, you could say, I want seven in and one out. It, it's all changeable. And it's not by the resolution or frame rate. It's just by the license. So you can scale up 
And so what we did with M Replay is we added high frame rate. So that's another option this year. So we can even do 8K, 120 frames per second, wow. <laughs> which is just like mind boggling yeah. that we're pushing that limit. I mean, just a few years ago, it was like, oh, can we do 4K? The last Mac Pro was two channels of 4K 60. And now we're talking about 24. Yeah. I mean. It, it's a huge jump in performance. And we should mention as well, we're talking a lot about Macs, and I know in the comments there might be some people saying, well, how do you get cameras in and out of the Macs? Are there external devices that you're using a, a, yep. along with it? Something like a Sonnet chassis, that works great if you want to hook it up. Uh, you can have that, that Sonnet chassis, whether it's the, uh, the rack model or just the box itself, Thunderbolt cable. And that in that box you can have the you can have the Delta Cast cards, you can have the Black Magic, AJA, all that works really well. And then you and can bring your SDI feeds or exactly, HDMI feeds. Exactly. Yeah. Including NDI for a movie recorder as well. Okay. So yeah, it really works. It we make it a lot easy uh, very easy for users, especially because it can be all of those options at once. It, it doesn't have to be one or the other. So we have people say, Hey, I have this AGA for playout, I have this this black magic for record. Sure, great, make well, Doesn't matter. It'll work. <laughs> Amazing. So that's M Replay. What's next? All right. So then we have on the air web link, and maybe we'll move down here. So this is really great. We know a lot of you love overlays.uno or they like yep. Singular. We've worked with them. Now we have a way to bring their graphics out from the Mac. So if you want to bring that in, like I said, the Black Magic, AJA, Delta Cast, even NDI, or if you want to go directly into our apps, we can do that fill in key. And so what's really cool is each one of these pages is customizable as far as what the resolution and aspect ratio is going to be. And so you're not going to get mouse clicks on the screen. You're not going to risk that. You're not going to have a pop up from the system because we're controlling that page. Okay. So we're locking it in, making sure it's going to fit to your broadcast. And so this one works out really well because we priced it really low. We said, this is a solution. We are using web pages, but it doesn't require a lot of support from us. And so, I mean, four pages of this, it's it's $1,000 or 1,000 euros, and it's very simple. Go to pages, you put your bookmark, and you can access it, fill in key. So we already have people talking about, okay, I can, I can use a, a Mac Mini to set up all my outputs, and I'm done. So this would actually allow you to have four sets of key and fill out at the same time? Yep. Right, okay. Yeah, so that, that makes it really nice. So we, we've had Singular by the booth. They love it. They yeah. love to see it in action. And so that's on the site now. Yeah, so for those of you that watch my videos, you know I'm a big Singular graphics lover. Also, we talk about Uno graphics all the time. That will be fully supported in here as well. It's any web uh, overlay. Yeah, exactly. Amazing. And that's called On The Air web on, link. On The Air web link. Okay, yeah. check that out. So. You might already be familiar with you're using an ATEM, you need a video playout. Yes. And so what we have is on the air video. And what, what's great with on the air video is that we can be controlled by the ATEM. And so we can act as a hyperdeck. The ATEM has no idea that we're not at hyperdeck. Right, okay. And so that's really nice. If you have video coming from everywhere, you don't know if the person's sending you HEVC, ProRes, MXF, on the air video does not care. We're going to play it and we're going to make sure it's the right output. So if you say it's got to be 1080p on the output, it's got to be 720 or 4K, we're going to convert it to be right for your output. Got it. And so you can have that mix match, you know, frame rate, resolution and codec, but you can also trim the media inside the playlist as well. So uh, how quick is that to do? Very quick. Okay. You can you can even change the out point as it's playing. Right. Okay. So you're saying, "Oh my gosh, I left pad, cut, it's gone." And and now you're going on to your next clip. So that re works really well with the ATEM, but now on the other flip side of that is we can control the ATEM as well. So when you click on a video, maybe you want someone's mic to come up. Maybe you want a macro to happen, or maybe even you want to take a camera. We can actually tell the ATEM what to do. And so we already have people using it as a sequencer to yep. do their entire shows. And so it was really interesting. Uh, there was, you know, it was a terrible, but it was a hurricane that came through Florida, but they did 16 hours live through the on-the-air video. They were controlling the ATEM to do everything. So it's it's really remarkable that this is a video player, but this is a video player going above and beyond what others are doing. So on-the-air can actually trigger things happening on the ATEM. One question I get a lot in my comments is, is there a way for the ATEM to cut back to my camera once the video has finished playing? Well, so yeah. is that something that could be done with this then? Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> I, I see that comment all the time in my, in my oh. YouTube videos. So, oh, perfect. Uh, yeah. So 
what you do is you say, right at the end of this video, go back to this camera. And you can even say, turn on this mic as well. Yeah, so unmute the guy at mics, cut to camera yeah, one. That's enough of that, yeah. back to me. <laughs> Amazing, so yeah. that's, that's on the air video. Yep. Uh, I love the fact, because Hyperdex, I've used hardware playouts, they're great, but as you said, sometimes they, you, can, you have to specify or, or stick within a certain format codec and things like this, but this will take anything. Exactly. Amazing. We've done, we've covered a lot. We've covered movie recorder, we've gone replay, web URLs, <laughs> on the air video. Is there anything else or have we covered everything? Man, it's just, it's, that's just scratching the surface. <laughs> it really is. If you haven't heard of Softron, check out Movie Recorder. I, I mean, I was a customer, that's why I love these guys, because it really worked out well. We really get to know our customers and figure out their workflows. You know, we're not their integrator, but we try to help them get through it. And we're very honest about, oh, hey, that doesn't work, or maybe try this. That, that's really what's important, is trying to find someone who will help you through this process. And that's what we do. Perfect, well I really appreciate the time. And for you guys watching, you can actually download any of the Softron products from their website. The link is down in the description below. All of their products have a demo mode, so you can go down to their website and download and demo it yourself. But also, there is a 10% discount code. All of the details are down in the description below. You can apply that at checkout. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button because that really does help. If you want to keep up to date with all of my action from IBC 2023, hit the playlist in the top right hand corner now. And if you want to be notified as I upload new videos from IBC, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell.